We have continuing coverage of this historic election shakeup. If Vice President Harris gets the nomination for president, now that President Joe Biden has stepped aside, there's another question. Who will be her pick for vice president? So one of the people reportedly on the shortlist is Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir, who won a second term in November, but said he was committed to serving out that term until 2027. Regardless of your party and regardless of who you voted for, I will do my best every day to stop the fighting, to push away the division. During his second inaugural address last December, Governor Andy Bashir pushed a message of compassion and working together. We should realize that dream if we don't stand in our own way. Prior to Bashir winning two terms for governor, he served as Kentucky Attorney General from 2016 to 2019. He's the son of Governor Steve Bashir, who was also a two-term governor. I'm a Republican. We met Janet Slayton from Frankfurt, who voted for Bashir after he signed a 6% pay raise for all state employees, as well as making the GED test free. Other voters we spoke with that day said Bashir earned their vote by the way he handled two natural disasters. First in 2021 with the tornadoes in western Kentucky, and in 2022 with flooding in eastern Kentucky. Why can't we all just work together? And somebody has got to take that first step on either side of the house and say, okay, governor, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do that. In recent months, the governor frequently talks about infrastructure, which has become a symbol of bipartisanship between two states with two governors on different political sides. The Brent Spence mm -hmm. Companion Bridge, that corridor project that we're building uh, without tolls excited about what's going to happen. Bashir first defeated incumbent Matt Bevan in 2019 by more than 5,000 votes and gained re-election against challenger Daniel Cameron in 2023 by more than 67,000 votes. In a state with two Republican U.S. Senators, Republican supermajorities at the state capitol, and a state former President Donald Trump carried with more than 62 percent of the vote in 2016 and 2020. That kind of kind, care, uh, compassionate leader who's also very strong uh, and, uh, and just does the work. The question now, will Bashir be Vice President Kamala Harris's running mate if she secures the nomination? Certainly being a Southern Democrat, uh, as, as someone is in Kentucky, does have that appeal more broadly than just Kentucky. Northern Kentucky University political science professor Sean O'Reilly spoke about that possibility of Bashir on the Democratic ticket this November. His appeal to moderates, probably. Uh, a Southern Democrat is not a Democrat that we would see from California, such as um, Vice President Harris. Electorally, there are two others that make a little more sense. Um, if you think about where Biden is, is losing numbers.